have the pleasure of having today with us Justice Carpio. He's been, uh, he's coming to Alcano to talk about the uh, disputes on the South China Sea. So uh, Justice Carpio, uh, recently the Filipino government has submitted a memorial to an international arbitration court regarding the nice uh, dash line uh, promoted by China in order to, to assert their uh, reclamations on the South China Sea. Uh, what is the status of this case at the moment? Well, uh, right now uh, we have finished submitting our memorial. In July of this year, there will be an oral argument on the jurisdictional issue. And uh, we expect a ruling on the jurisdictional issue sometime in August or September. And uh, if the ruling is that uh, the tribunal has jurisdiction, then there will be another hearing in November. And after that, we wait for the decision of the tribunal. We expect the tribunal to decide on the merits with finality in the first quarter of 2016. Okay, because uh, lately, I mean, the situation in the South China Sea is uh, being more and more tense. So how do you think that this ruling uh, could uh, prevent to, uh, this escalation of this uh, situation? Yes. Uh, if the tribunal will declare the nine dust lines as void, therefore China cannot claim as its sovereign territorial waters the entire South China Sea, it will have to limit its claim to the islands and the uh, 12 nautical mm -hmm. mile territorial sea. So that will drastically reduce the area of the conflict from the entire South China Sea to the islands. And that kind of conflict over small islands can be managed. Our problem now is China claims the entire South China Sea and that is a, that's a problem for a fisherman because these are their traditional fishing grounds and if they go there now, they will be water cannon. So if we have a favorable ruling, the area of the dispute will be reduced considerably and we can live with that kind of dispute. Of course, you talk about the disruption of fishery, but also I mean the present situation could contribute to the disruption of trade, you know, since... Uh, what do you think about that? Yes, uh, if the dispute flares up, then the world economy will, is in, will be in danger because more than one half of the seaborne trade of the world passes through the South China Sea. And uh, a dispute, uh, if it flares up, it affects the entire world. So we're trying to get a ruling from the s tribunal that the nine dust lines have no basis under international law. China can claim that the islands and the territories, and we can discuss that uh, over time, but in this time and age, no state can claim an entire sea anymore. That has been settled in the 1600s, a long time ago, uh, between uh, two great scholars, Hugo Grotius and John Selden. These two ideas competed whether a nation can own an entire sea or an entire ocean. That, long e e that era has long passed. We are now under the UNCLOS, everybody uh, about 165 countries, including EU, have ratified UNCLOS. That's an overwhelming majority of the UN. And that is now the law. As you are only entitled to 12 nautical miles territorial sea, an additional EEZA of 200 nautical miles, and at most another 150 nautical miles corner shelf. You cannot claim beyond that. You cannot claim the entire sea. That's all over now. That's an idea in the 1600s that the world has rejected. And China is reviving it today. Uh, and just developing this point, I mean, how do you feel that uh, the ruling for this case uh, could affect the whole um, future of the UNCLOS? I mean, is it possible to have UNCLOS with a negative ruling or? Well, if the tribunal will allow the nine dust lines to stand, then the law of the sea, UNCLOS, will not apply in the South China Sea. If it cannot apply in the South China Sea, it cannot apply in the other oceans and seas because other naval powers will demand the same right as China. We cannot create an exception because naval powers will demand also an exception. Why is China alone given, being given an entire sea? We want an, India will claim the Indian Ocean. I think we will go back to the 1200s, 1300s, 1400s, where nations tried to claim the oceans and seas. And what role do you think that the Union, European Union can play I mean, regarding all this uh, controversy? 
There is a role to play for the European Union, do you think? Yes, oh. the European Union has said that they want this dispute to be resolved in accordance with international law, uh, including UNCLOS. That's correct, we want that. And once there is a ruling, we expect the European Union to also support the ruling because that is a ruling of an international tribunal of which EU is a member. The world should follow that. Okay, so thank you very much for sharing your views with us. Um, that's it.